I was uh, actually all snugged away, enjoying my time off, and had a call from management. Everybody knows who my manager is, Roger Davies, saying that record company was interested in uh, me getting back to work, and that was to be a um, best of album with two new records. And since they were so good, then the record company and Roger felt like, why don't we go for a new album, some fresh music? And, uh, well, after two great songs, I felt, yeah, I think it feels good. So... Here I am. Oh, the Metro Boys. I felt like I wanted something new. I wanted to just try to stay as fresh and new as possible, but yet still have a bit of uh, covers there somehow. And, and these guys felt right somehow. I went in to meet the guys. There, it was a very small recording studio with all these young guys and a, a second floor of writers. Every room in Cubbyhole, people writing songs and the most incredible energy of, a, I would say, a new era of music, a new time. It was very inspiring. I would say one of my favorites, Don't Leave Me This Way. It's a ballad. With today's music, a good ballad will always read. It, will, it can always have a chance with modern music. And this is, a, this is one. This is one for sure. It's, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. When the heartache is over is another great one. Good songs, good words, arrangements, great. The boys know what they're doing. Well, I'm working with Terry Britt now, and the, the song we're working on is called Absolutely Nothing's Changed. And it's, it's an up, it's a dance move, it's funky, it's, it's, it's great. But it's over now, that dream over now. We're doing uh, two more. Actually, there's a one rock and roll one called 24-7. That one is a very, I think it's very stonesy and very rock and roll. And then there's a ballad called Falling. And it's a, it's a very, very relaxed song. I think it's the first time I've ever sung a song, such a relaxed number. The track Falling reminds me of my recording days with Terry when I did What's Love Got to Do With It? Because it's very difficult to sing. What's Love Got to Do With It was very difficult for me to sing. And, and this one has been like two days in the recording studio, which usually I spend one day uh, or maybe a few hours, you know. But uh, today, and uh, I've been all day working, and now we got it. <laughs> She's the best. She's wonderful all the time. Ow! Ow! <laughs> And I uh, was first introduced to Johnny Douglas. I walked into the studio, and he was sitting there like a kid with his feet up like this, looking, and the room is full of toys. Star Trek, and, and he's got a picture of his, his little baby saying, I feel good. <laughs> it feels good. It's fantastic. He's, he's really cute, and he's funny, and he's fun. And uh, he makes recording a little more fun. He gets what he wants. He works your heart because he listens very intently. The story is a mixture of kind of gospel and yet rock and yet current uh, music. It's all a mixture, all in one song that comes out quite explosive. And that was something else I wanted this time. I wanted to get back into some, some, some good rhythm and blues. But I wanted it with the edge of rock and roll, and I got what I wanted with, with the songs on this album. I have a little bit of all of that in there now. I'm really happy about it. Bye. <laughs> okay. Working with Herb Ritz again, he came up with The Shot, the cover for the album. It's a new me. It's, a, it's an aging me with a, still a great bit of energy and good health and happy. And it, it says what's going on now, so I'm happy with it. The title of the album is called 24-7. We named it that because there is a song in the album called 24-7 written by Terry Britton. And yes, Terry Britton is uh, back, so am I. This album for me is different because it's modern. But... I'm not putting myself in a place where it's anything that I'm not. It's all the elements of my roots and my style. The words, the, the stories are incredible, except that it has a, the driving beat of what the modern music is today, of what radios can play. And uh, I think it, is, it will take me to another plateau with the younger fans of mine and also to older fans. It's right for today. On this particular album, uh, there is only one guest, a very special guest, Brian Adams, and I are doing a duet. The song is called uh, Without You. It's very rock and roll, but yet modern and somehow. He likes it, and I do, and uh, possibly he will be touring with me, and we will we'll, we'll actually perform it on the show as well. Looks like I'm on tour again next year. What will the tour be like? 
don't want to give it away, but it's, it's, it's a time in my life where I'm feeling like going back to songs that I recorded in the beginning of my career of Fool in Love. It's going to work out fine. Ta, 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 ta. But if I do such songs, I might be on, on tour for about another three years. <laughs> it will be a long show. But I think it's time for that kind of tour. It's my 60th birthday and I'm kind of celebrating my, my success and my stardom. And uh, those songs were a strong part. So I think it'll be a quite interesting tour, even for myself, to sing those songs that I haven't sang for 20-some-odd years or so.